Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Jack Gardner, and welcome back to another free lesson on a Friday. We're into year two. This is number 53, I think. Today, I just wanted to look at how I play the chords in my track Neo, which is off my debut release, Escapades. If you've not checked that out already, that would be highly appreciated. Um, it's all instrumental guitar music. Basically, this intro part is probably one of the trickiest parts to play of the EP. Um, it's using this technique. I called it the heartbreak. I have no idea <laughs> how else to describe it. But basically, it's a way for me to play chords that would otherwise be impossible, you know, using just our four fingers here on the left hand. And um, there's a whole video lesson on that that you can check out if you want um, as part of the free lessons on a Friday and a lesson package. But guys, Please, before we go into the main teaching part, I do just want to say, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. I know you've heard that a million times, but it does just help the channel grow and I can continue to make content like this. If you do want to support me, um, the best way to do that is checking out my music or checking out my lesson packages, which are available over at my website. I'll leave links down in the description. So without further ado then, let's look at how we play the intro to Neo. So essentially the main component of this kind of heartbreak technique, if you like, is that we need to place a chord down with the left hand, but we can fret a note that we wouldn't usually be able to get with the right hand. Now you could use your first finger or you can use the middle finger if you're gonna be using a pick. I just hide the pick behind that first finger here. Now the first chord that we're actually playing within this, you could think of this as like an A major seven drop, uh, drop two voice, and I should say this one. So if you think, you know, major seven drop twos, this is the one which we'd usually get. And the root of A would usually be here. But instead of doing that, what I actually want to do is play the major nine as the lowest note possible. So that would be, you know, physically impossible for us to play with these four fingers. So I'll hold that on the 14th fret of the A string there. And we can go like this. Just gives this lovely kind of waterfall effect, I think. Now, on the next chord that we play then, this is actually kind of like a drop two of um, a minor seven chord, F sharp minor seven. But when we use minor seven chords um, with the relative major, so in this case, relative major of F sharp is D, we get lovely like major nine chords anyway. So this would be kind of like a D major nine, I guess, if you like. So it's this shape. This one, the root which I'm going to play is actually going to be the D up here. So it's actually going to sound like a fourth higher than the lowest note of the left hand. Probably a little bit too much distortion. Let me try that again. This kind of sound, which I think is lovely. Um, essentially, the intervals that you'd have there, if, if D is the root, you've got the fifth, you've got the ninth, you've got the third, and then we've got the major seven on the top. Lovely sound and voice, and that would otherwise be impossible without this technique. Now the next chord that we've got then is gonna be actually kind of like an F sharp major nine voice, and so the voice that I'm using is this. If you think, it's just without the root. Um, but the note which I'm gonna play here is actually gonna be the major nine as well, so it's the lower octave. Now, if you think about that in terms of intervals, we've got the major third, we've got the fifth, and um, we've got the major seven, and we've got the ninth, and then the ninth on the bottom as well. That's what I'm thinking of in my head anyway. And then the last chord is that same shape, so it's kind of like an E major nine, but I'm gonna do something funky up here. So that's the bottom half of the shape, but I'm actually gonna play the sharp 11. So this is kind of like a Lydian sounding chord. Um, And then I hit that low E string. While I do that, I slide that sharp 11 down to the major third. I just wasn't pushing down hard enough there, sorry guys. But essentially, it's my kind of attempt of sounding like, you know, John Gon when he plays Passion Flower with all of these detuned kind of ideas. I think that's what I was really going for when I wrote this, but. So really it's a collection of just a load of major seven chords. Um, 
And I really like the sound of how this technique enables us to get these kind of crazier sounding voices, if you like. If you do want to check out um, the full tune and the full transcription, then they are available over at my website. Um, it's the Escapade Standard Pack, I think, or Deluxe Pack, it should be called, where there's a full transcription of the tune. If you want to check it out, you can check out Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple Music, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope... It encourages you to experiment with some of these voicings using this technique over here. If you did like it, please do let me know. What is it you guys want to see in the next free lesson on a Friday? I am all ears. Um, this was actually a suggestion as well. Some of you said you wanted to look at some of the tracks from Escapade, so I thought this would be a nice one to take a look at. Guys, before I sign off here, please do make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell for notifications. I know I've said it again, but it just helps the channel to grow. Okay, guys, hope you're all safe and well out there. Till next time, cheers.